I do not understand the difference between a simple interest note and a simple discount note. What is the difference, and when are they used? Why do they need two different kinds of notes in these situations? It really can be confusing, can't it? We certainly don't need both types of notes. But in reality, all banks and lending institutions use both simple interest notes and simple discount notes today. So you need to know the difference between those two notes, and you need to know how to work with each type of note. However, both kinds of notes have common characteristics, which we will look at now. Every note has the following, the amount borrowed, the interest charge, an annual rate, the period of the note in years, and the maturity value. Now let's compare simple interest notes and simple discount notes. A simple interest note has interest equals to principal rate times time, and the maturity value is found by adding the principal plus the interest. With a simple discount note, we have the discount is found using bank discount equals to maturity value times discount rate times time, and the proceed equals to the maturity value minus the bank discount. Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing discounting a note before its maturity. We will cover the following topics. Understand the concept of discounting a note. Find the proceeds when discounting simple interest notes. Find the proceeds when discounting simple discount notes. Now let's define discounting a note. Sometimes businesses accept a promissory note rather than a cash payment. The value of the note then must be determined. The process of finding the value of a note on a specific date before its due date and before the note matures is called discounting a note. Now let's find the proceeds when discounting a simple interest note. We want to find the maturity value of this simple interest note. The loan was made on May 29th. It has a face value of $5,500. The length of the loan is 80 days. The rate is 10% and is discounted on July 8th. First thing we need to do is find the interest. So the interest is $5,500 times 10% times 80 divided by 360. So the total interest on this note will be $122.22. So the maturity value of this note will be $5,500 plus $122.22, which is $5,622.22. This note was made on May 29th, and it was due in 80 days. So the due date for this note was May 29th plus 80 days, which is August 17th. However, this note was discounted on July 8th. So the discount period is 40 days before it was due. because July 8th to August 17th is 40 days. So now what we're going to do is find the bank discount. So B is equal to M times D times T. So we have $5,622.22. This note is discounted at 12%. So the note is discounted at 12%. So your discount rate is 12%. For 40 days, 40 days before it's due, so the discount taken from this note is $74.96. So then the proceeds turn out to be the maturity value minus the bank discount, which is $5,622.22. Subtract the $74.96, which is $5,500. Forty-seven dollars and twenty-six cents.
So what we have done is we have discounted a simple interest note 40 days before it was due. The note's maturity value was $5,622.22 if held for the entire term. But on the discount date, the value was $5,547.26. Now let's find the proceeds when discounting a simple discount note. This note was made on April 30th. It has a maturity value of $22,000. The length of the loan is 200 days and the rate is 9%. This note was discounted on July 12th. Let's first of all find the bank discount, which is $22,000 times 9% times 200 over 360. So the bank discount is $1,100. So the proceeds from this note, maturity minus bank discount, is $22,000. Subtract $1,100, which is $20,900. The due date of this note is April 30th plus 200 days, which is November 16th. The discount period which is the time from July 12th to November 16th is 127 days. So this note is discounted 127 days before it is due. This note is discounted at 11%. So now we're going to find the bank discount at 11%, 127 days before the note is due. So here again, bank discount is maturity times discount rate times time. So that's $22,000 discounted at 11% for 127 days. So the discount is $853.72. The proceeds is the maturity value minus the bank discount. So $22,000 subtract $853.72 gives us proceeds of $21,000 $146.28. So this note, which was due on November 16th, was discounted on July 12th, and $21,146.28 was the value of the note on that day. In this section, we have discounted both simple interest notes and simple discount notes before their maturity dates. Businesses often accept notes as payments before the due date of the note. So therefore, you need to go and practice discounting notes.